Bar Creep 360 here, and um, I'm back again with another video, another reaction. Uh, this today I'm gonna be reacting to uh, another SML movie. This is a uh, this one is called Jeffy Goes to Juvie. <laughs> hey, if if y'all haven't done this yet, be sure to you know comment below, tell me what I should react to next, and uh, the original video will be in the link in the description down below. So um. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, um, anyway, enough talking, let's get into this. <laughs> All right, Kraus, today we're going to be doing wood chop. So with the very dangerous and high-powered tools on your desk, you're going to be making a wooden sculpture. Oh, man, this hammer's so cool. Whoa, isn't this kind of dangerous? <gasps> awesome! <laughs> Good, Tangerine! Joseph, get away from me. You're going to poke my eye out with that thing. Dude, it's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know what? Oh, yeah, you oh, like it. Stop it. Uh, teacher, what are we supposed to make? Anything you want. See, I made a birdhouse. So, get started, Kraus. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> Joseph, put Cody down. <laughs> with high-powered machinery. Us men can handle this, not you. Whatever, I'll still make something better than you. Hey, Who's idiot, that? what are you gonna make? I'm not really <laughs> sure you should be calling me names today. Whatever, idiot. Don't do it, Jeffy. Don't do <laughs> it. Uh, teacher, can I see the nurse? Is that an axe in your head? Yeah. He did it. Class, make sure you be careful with the tools. You only have 15 minutes. Wow. All right, Kraus, stop working. Your 15 minutes is up. I'm not going to come around the Kraus and see what you made. Hey, Cody, check out my dinosaur. Sick dino, Junior. Not cooler than my shark, though. Hey, Penelope, what'd you make? I made a house. What a lame house. You didn't even put a door. I didn't have enough time, Junior. Hey, everybody, look at Penelope's lame house. She didn't put a door. That means any guy can come and go whenever they want, like between her mom's legs. Shut oh, up, Junior. Wow. All right, Penelope, what? what did you make? I made a house. Okay, where's your door? Uh, I didn't have enough time. Oh, maybe my What did you make? I made a dinosaur. <laughs> Great, where's his eyes? Uh, it, it's a blind dinosaur. B minus. Uh, All right, B Joseph, what did you make? Oh, I made a shark. <laughs> okay, where's his body? Uh, B minus. Uh, All right, Cody, what did you make? I uh, made a unicorn head. Oh, yay, finally someone who made exactly what they said. A plus. <laughs> Scared. What? Hawaiian punch? What? 
baby, we're past that part. No, I know, but it's just so red and sticky. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I have to clean it up. I'm pretty pissed. No, 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 no. no. Wait, the more important thing is let's talk about Jebby at school. What's going to happen? Oh, he's getting expelled. Expelled? Well, yeah, but the school said they'll let him go back to school if he completes a one-day juvenile detention class school thing that I teach. Okay, when is the class? Oh, it's tonight. And if he fails, he's going to go to jail. Well, go to jail? So, so he has to pass it? He has to pass it to go back to school. And 99% of the people who take my class fail. Well, doesn't that mean you're just a bad teacher? No, it means they're bad people. It's not my fault. Oh, okay, so, so Jeffy's going to go to the class tonight and he's going to pass. All right, Jeffy? Yep. All right, oh, I'm going to go clean out my car. Oh, okay. Jeffy, why did you do that? It's not my fault I spilled the Hawaiian punch. He went over his speedboat. Well, no, no, not that. Why did you do that thing at school? Well, because the teacher said that I could make whatever I wanted out of wood, so I made a wooden gun, and it didn't shoot shit. <laughs> What's a funny language? Oh, wait. Yeah, I, know, so I, know, yeah. I know school <laughs> shootings aren't a joke, but... <laughs> <you're gonna> pass, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Captain, hey, do you guys have napkins? Like, like a whole bunch of napkins? Yeah, in the kitchen. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need it's a wire napkin, though. Oh, look, go, go to the kitchen. Oh, my God. Why is this my wife? Look, I know. Mm -mm. <laughs> this looks so yummy. Hey, guys, some of these paper towels. Yeah, sure. Bro, I know. Hey, Egg, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, that's a lot. Hey, what are you doing? I'm getting paper towels. Dang, that's a lot. Why so many? Look, man, my car is covered in Hawaiian punch. I need this many paper towels. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Hey, look over there. What? <laughs> what? Damn it. Hey, He's running. Stop me. I'm the towels. God, he was so annoying. What? Who's that? Wait, what do you want? Hey, I'm going to need a lot more paper towels than this. Can I have the rest? No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I don't want to be here. Hey, kid, what color's your blood? <laughs> what happened to your eyes? Tattoo my eyeball with my pencil. All I see is darkness. Uh, you want to try? No. Suit yourself. Ugh. I started a fire. I don't regret the people I killed. Give me an island. No. I said give me an island. No way. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. Settle down, you freaks. Welcome to Be Good School, <laughs> where I teach you how to be good. All right, you are all menaces to society. The world would honestly be a better place if you did not exist. So I'm going to try to fix you. Now, there are three main rules on how to be good. The first rule is manners. Now, that includes things like saying please and thank you. And, according to my wife, not pissing on the toilet seat. But I do it anyway. It's not my fault you have to pee sitting down. Just pee standing up like a man. Anyway, who wants to give me an example of manners? Can I please start a fire? Well, no, you can't start a fire. But you did say please, and I like that. That's one step in the right direction. And then five steps in the wrong direction because you asked to commit arson. Okay, look, I'll give you a real-life example of manners, okay? Let's say you're at a restaurant, and you order some chicken strips and a side of ranch. And so the waiter comes, and he brings the chicken strips, but he forgets the ranch. And you say... Say, excuse me, I think you've forgotten my ranch. And he says, oh, right, I'll be right there. Right? And then I don't see him for 15 minutes. And then he comes back and he Sorry says, can I get you anything? And I say, well, I really would like my ranch. And then he says, oh, right, of course, the ranch. And then he disappears for 30 goddamn minutes and then has the balls to come back and say, hey, can I get you the check? And I say, what you can get me is my fucking ranch. And he says, well, you can't talk to me that way. And I say, I can talk to you any way I want. Let me see your manager. And then he says, I am the manager. And I say, well, that's funny because your name tag says waiter, so go get me the manager. So then the manager comes over and says, is there anything wrong here? And I say, yeah, look at my dry chicken strips. I want some ranch. You're going to cut me this entire meal for free or I'm going to put one of my ball hairs in the food and say that you did it and I'm going to get this entire restaurant shut down. And then the manager says, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm going to comp you your entire meal. All your food is free today. And then I say, thank you. See, that's manners. I said, <laughs> How is that? did anybody learn anything? Um, I learned not to get you. How is that? Yes, yes, nice. you don't forget the ranch. That's exactly right. I mean, nice. chicken strips without ranch, it's like a car without tires. What are you going to do? Yes, nice. exactly. You're going to make an excellent waiter someday if Applebee's ever starts hiring felons. Okay, now the second one is helping people. you got to help people. It's just the nice thing to do, okay? Now I'll give you an example. What do you do if you're driving down the street and you see a girl whose car is broken down on the side of the road? You stuff her in the trunk? No, you don't do that. You set her car on fire? No, what is it with you and fire? What kind of car is it? Why does that even matter? Maybe I can steal it, I don't know. But you can't steal it because it's broken down and you shouldn't even want to anyway because that's wrong. Come on, think, people. Do you cut off her face and wear it? I don't 
think it's that one. It's definitely file. No, 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 no. All of you are stupid. Does anyone have an actual good answer? Um, pick her up and take her on a date to Applebee's? What? Ew! No, not Applebee's. Were you even listening to anything I was saying? No, she'd be better off just on the side of the road. She'd be just as hungry. You know, she'd just have to wait 30 minutes to get her chicken tenders and ranch anyway. No, no, no. No. Look, I'll give you a real life. Where are we going? <laughs> So my grandfather was incredibly rich. I mean, he was a millionaire, just filthy rich. And so he was in the hospital, and I was visiting him every day, you know, to make sure I got a piece of that. And then I see that he's on life support. He's being kept alive by a machine. Now, I'm thinking, what kind of life is that? That's no way to live, being kept alive by a machine. But he seems happy. He says, when I get this heart transplant tomorrow, I'm going to feel so much better. I can't wait to get out of the hospital. And I hear, I can't wait to get out of the hospital. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going to help him, and I'm going to I'm gonna end his suffering and pull the plug. So I do, and he flat lines and all the nurses come running into the room, and I just say that I tripped on the power cord and they believe me. And then, come to find out, what did he leave me in his will? A sofa! Can you believe that? I killed my, I mean, I helped my grandfather go to heaven. Or hell, probably, if all he left me was a sofa. But hey, you know what, kid? Ask your dad if my grandfather's in hell. Okay. Thank you. See? There you go. He's helping me by asking if my grandfather's in hell. Alright, so we've covered two already manners and helping people we just have one more left to cover now, does anyone want to guess what that is naughty files eating people's faces great that dog oh total annihilation picking your nose and eating it no to all of that because most of those were crimes and the third one is don't do crimes okay now crimes is stuff like killing people stealing things yes setting things on fire is a crime and what I did to my grandfather was a crime. And so is what I will do to you if you tell anyone you heard that. All right, so now we're going to have a test that will make you have to use all three of the be good rules, okay? And you have to pass this test to not go to jail. But first, I'm going to have a lunch break and eat my very big foot-long imaginary sandwich. I just hope it's not too big. Um. He's choking! We have to do something! We should set him on fire while he's choking. We should eat his face and we choke too. Let's just watch. I'm coming to help you! <laughs> oh, Jeffy, you saved me! Thank you! You're welcome! See, class? That was it. That was the test. Jeffy passed because he did all three of the Be Good rules. He helped me when I needed it. I said thank you, and he said you're welcome, so that's manners. And he didn't commit any crimes like the rest of you did by not helping me, because that was the crime of criminal negligence. So Jeffy is the only one who's not going to jail. So how do you think Jeffy's Be Good school is going? I think it's going to be bad. You know, because it's called Be Good, so he's going to be bad. Be bad. Yes, like, Marvin. Be bad, like, hey, get a book. <laughs> now pass. You pass? Sure did. Yep, he saved my imaginary life. You know, most students don't save my life whenever I choke on the imaginary sandwich, but your son did, so he passed. He learned how to be good. He learned his manners. He learned that he should help people. He learned not to do crimes, and he learned that he should get me my ranch at Applebee's. So does that make up for the Hawaiian punch? Hmm. I forgot about that before now. All right, listen, kid. You better hope I never have to see you again. Well, Jeffy, look, at least you passed, you're not going to jail, and we can put this whole thing behind us. Yeah. Hey, so I got a call from a kid with an axe in his head, and he said you did it. Uh, oh. All right, we're going back. Come on. Oh, Jeffy. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> SML question, what is the stupidest... <laughs> SML question, what is the stupidest thing you have gotten in trouble for? Uh, what is the, it says SML question? What is the stupidest thing you have gotten in trouble for? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't really know, man. I don't really know. Oh, I mean, you could say. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> what, what am I doing? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, this was another, you know, cool video, man. <laughs> hey, hey, I gotta say, uh, Brooklyn guy is...
<laughs> Brooklyn guy always gets me. He's, 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 he might be horrible in a funny way. He's kind of horrible, but in a funny way. But anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, um, yeah, this was another cool video by SML yet again. Um, yeah, Jeff Lee's crazy, man. He's crazy. Hey, but, um, yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys, guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave me a comment. Please leave a like, share with your friends, and, um, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you are new, and, um, yeah, that's kind of about it so yeah thank you guys for watching and sorry i thought yeah am, am i too tall for the camera just 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 am i too tall for the camera i don't know i don't know i'm, I'm looking at camera right now and it looks like i'm too tall for it what, what is it the chair but oh well anyway um yeah, thank you guys for watching, and, um, yeah, sorry about that, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.